Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about breast cancer recurrence, what it means, how it happens, the different types, and why it would happen, as well as some of the emotional toll of worrying about or experiencing a recurrence. When we talk about breast cancer recurring, we're referring to a situation where somebody was thought to be free of disease. So somebody who had surgery, radiation, chemotherapy maybe, endocrine therapy maybe, and maybe targeted therapy as well, and then years later, the cancer comes back. That's said to be a recurrence. The re is return. So it's coming back when you thought you were free of disease or hoped you were free of disease. Why does this happen and what does it mean? So the reason that this happens is because cells that originally were at the time of diagnosis left the primary tumor in the breast, for example. And this can happen with any cancer, but specifically with breast cancer. The tumor is diagnosed, and even before that happens, the cancer cells spread and leave the primary tumor. They can spread through the bloodstream or through the lymphatic system and lodge themselves in other parts of the body. This is why we give treatment, because we want to reduce the risk that that happens down the road or that it happened and those cells can grow again. At some point, those cancer cells wake up again and start to divide in the distant tissue, the liver, the lung, the bone, that can come back in the tumor, in the breast itself or in the surrounding lymph nodes. And those cells wake up again and start to grow and now can be detected and maybe cause symptoms. So that's the process. And we know that tumor cells are sensitive to treatments that we give a person, but we also know that those cells can be resistant to treatment. So somebody who's received all of that treatment, all those different types of treatment they've been offered, they've done everything right, those cancer cells can sort of evade the treatment and can come back a couple years or even many years later. So we know there are some risk factors for that to happen, but this can happen really with any invasive breast cancer. Even with ductal carcinoma in situ, there are other cells elsewhere in the breast that were perfectly well treated with everything that was given, with everything somebody received, and then those cells can wake up. So it doesn't mean that treatment failed, it just means it didn't work well enough. So people go through this treatment and their cancer comes back, they say, well, it was all for nothing. And one thing I would encourage people to think about is that actually it might have come back sooner without treatment, or it might have come back in more places in the body without treatment. And yes, the treatment didn't work well enough. The cancer did come back. So sometimes we treat the more sensitive cells and those resistant cells kind of shrug off the treatment and can come back. We also know that some people decline treatment. They say, no, thank you. And now we have all those treatments available if they want to get treated when the cancer comes back. We also know that cancer cells can mutate and they can develop a way of, of um, being resistant to those cancer cells and they, the treatment treats the sensitive cells, but now those cells have actually changed. And we see this sometimes where people will develop uh, after having estrogen receptor positive cancer, now the cancer comes back and it's estrogen receptor negative. Or it was HER2 negative and now in the distant sites it's HER2 positive. And there are lots of other reasons for this. For example, tumors can be what's called heterogeneous. There can be a variety of different types of cells in the primary tumor and then treatment affects the sensitive, the HER2 positive cells, and now the HER2 negative cells can grow, or vice versa. So there are three different kinds of breast cancer recurrence. The first is local. Local means it comes back in the breast. The second type is regional, where the cancer comes back maybe in the breast, but also in the neighboring lymph nodes. That could be in the lymph nodes in the armpit, it could be in the lymph node above the clavicle on the same side, or it could be inside the chest wall in a lymph node underneath the sternum. Those are considered regional, and that can be with or without breast recurrence. And then the third type is distant recurrence, where breast cancer comes back in other parts of the body, like the liver, the lung, the bone. It can really come back anywhere. 
if it comes back in the skin after mastectomy, that's viewed differently by different types of treating doctors. Surgeons often treat skin recurrences as a local regional recurrence. Medical oncologists will treat that as a distant recurrence unless there's remaining breast tissue, in which case it's a local recurrence. If it comes back in the skin and there's no breast tissue, it's coming back in a different organ. It's coming back in the skin, which is not breast tissue. So medical oncologists will want to treat you with systemic therapy. A surgeon might offer to remove that cancer, but it's very likely that you'll be put on treatment that will affect the whole system, and you'll also likely get scans as well to make sure it's not in other parts of the body or to find out where it is. I call it knowing the enemy. If you're interested about your risk of recurrence or you've had a recurrence and you wanna know what treatment options are available to you, I invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized yerba report. After you give us permission or upload your records, we will take those records and cross-reference them with the latest medical evidence and let you know the options that might be available to you and that you might hear about when you go see your doctor. We also give you the pros and cons of each treatment, and we give you suggested questions to ask your medical team. So go to yerba.com and get your personalized Yerba report. When does recurrence happen? Well, local recurrences in the breast or regional recurrences in the lymph nodes around the breast happen generally pretty early on, but they've also been seen five or even 10 years later. Recurrence elsewhere in the body also tends to come back sooner rather than later, in particular hormone receptor negative breast cancer or triple negative breast cancer tends to come back in two to three to five years. The big exception is hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Hormone receptor positive breast cancer can come back five, 10, 20, even 30 years later and people with hormone receptor positive breast cancer can be grateful it didn't come back sooner, but people can also feel tricked. They can feel tricked. I thought I was cancer free at 10 years. I thought at 20 years I was cured only to have the cancer come back. So there are a couple ways to look at this. One is that most people are alive with hormone receptor positive breast cancer five or 10 years later. And because they're alive, they're alive to have these late recurrences. That can be a bitter pill to swallow. So I wanna say it again, and I'm gonna contrast it with other cancers. Other cancers that have been treated for, with curative intent tend to come back really quickly. Pancreas cancer, colon cancer, other sorts of tumors that are more active or aggressive. Hormone receptor positive breast cancers, more people are alive to have a recurrence. And again, that can be difficult. I'm not saying this is a good thing, but because more people are alive, more people are alive to have a recurrence. Whereas in pancreas cancer, if you live to five years, you're most likely cured. I'm using that as an example of a more active or aggressive cancer where we don't see five-year survivors. So that's what we know about hormone receptor positive breast cancer and late recurrences. So we know there's an emotional toll of even watching this video. We know there's an emotional toll of living life after breast cancer. You might be worried about recurrence. You might have survivor guilt that you haven't had a recurrence when your friend in your support group or in your friend's circle has had a recurrence. So we have a whole other video about the emotional aspect of living with fear of recurrence that I would encourage you to watch. A lot of people have commented that that really has helped them deal with that fear of recurrence. Then if you have a recurrence, there's all this fear and doubt. Did I do the right thing? Did I get enough treatment? Was I a quote, good patient? Yes, you were. Did you make a decision not to get a certain form of treatment and now you're living with recurrence? It doesn't mean you did something wrong. It doesn't mean you made a bad choice at that time. You may have regret, that's okay. You made the best decision at that time with the information that you had and with your life at that time. And now we would encourage self-forgiveness. We all make choices that we regret later in life. You may also feel really isolated because people don't know what to say. They don't know how to feel. You might doubt your medical team wondering were they 
giving you the best treatment. All of these things are normal. I encourage you to stay part of the Yerba community. You lift each other up and you support each other in ways maybe you're not getting in your friend circle or in your community or even from your medical team. I've covered a lot. Drop a comment or a question. We'll get back to you within two to three weeks, just as soon as we can. We love your comments and questions. If there's something we left out, let us know and we'll make another video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.